Hey, hey, Quake fans, it's your friendly neighborhood Smango coming at you here on the, the Quake Fans YouTube. Now, you need to stick around if you want to figure out how to install your Quake 3 mods here in 2020. Stay tuned. To start off, you want to go to owlquake3.org and get the latest Quake 3 engine. Now, where do you get the Quake 3 mods? You go to moddb.com. You look for Quake 3, you go to mods. Make you a special folder in C drive may named Quake 3 mod downloads like I did. Extract. Just extract it here. Use 7-zip or you can use File Explorer or whatever. Just extract it right here. Now the important folders in this is the base Q3 and CPMA. You want to cut these because what, what's the point of having them around later? Just cut them. Now we need to make your way to the IO Quake 3, the IO Quake 3 directory. Now just simply cut and paste in here and you'll be on your way to playing some CPMA original Quake 3 style. Now you can pretty much do this for just about every single Quake 3 mod. It'll extract a folder, a base Q3 folder, and the mod folder. Now not all of these mods do that. They have a, a .exe, which is an executable, which extracts to a different directory. And I'll show you an example right here. Now what we have here is a three wave executable file and it's gonna install in a certain directory in the program files. So just let it extract or install like it normally would. I know it's saying reinstalled, but I'm just showing you that like I've already moved these files. Go to program files, find the Quake 3 directory, and just copy and or cut the base Q3 and 3 wave. And you'll want to put this into your IO Quake 3 directory now. Make your way back to C, go to program files x86, find IO Quake 3 paste this into the IO Quake 3 directory. That requires both folders, remember this. They have to both be, be, both be in the IO Quake 3 root directory. You'll be good to go. Now I know some people's gonna be like, I don't have the Quake 3 files. So listen guys, it's seriously so easy to go get. Go to archive.org, go to the software, and type in Quake 3. You can, All you need is the base Q3 folder, that's it. Just look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Not that hard. But if you want to, you can get it on Steam, and you should. And you can just use the base Q3 folder out of it. I mean, we've done all this work, didn't we? What we what we want to see is that is the mods in action. So there you go. I'm going to load the three wave CTF. It honestly has a weird uh, graphical glitch. It probably doesn't work perfect in this. I'm not sure. But uh, now I'm going to show you CPMA. So let's load CPMA up here, and I'll show you a little bit of gameplay footage of that. Uh, CPMA still works great in uh, in uh, IO Quake 3. It, it runs fine. It looks, just, it looks great, plays great. So there you go, guys. You can now play your awesome Quake 3 mods. I hope this video helped you guys get your Quake 3 mods on. Be sure to like and share this channel. If, you, if it helped you in any way, be sure to check out quakefans.net and be sure to subscribe. Let me know your favorite Quake 3 mods down below or any Quake mods, matter of fact. Let me know. Check out these other videos here on Quake Fans. We'll see you guys next time.